Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if this is the first time you guys see me then welcome. I'm Sara Lee, beautician based here in Lebanon. So for today's video, it's a special video for me because it's been a while and I wanted to talk about it but completely slipped my mind even though I use it no exaggeration daily ever since I got it so what we're talking about and as you probably saw from the title is the almond lip balm from Aliak. it comes in 30 milliliters let's get into it and talk about it So my lips are currently dry, I really do need to apply it. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how you use it. As you saw, it's not like most lip balms. This comes in a jar, in a glass jar, may I add. Like, Alia has everything in glass jars, which I love, by the way, like, thank you. And you can actually, I don't know if this is still a thing with her, but a while ago she posted on her stories that you, you can give to the delivery guy the old jars you have from her so that it's a recyclable system so it's like a hundred percent a lot better for the environment and it's a beautiful way to recycle because otherwise you're just gonna end up with a lot of glass jars that you don't know what to do with them so it's definitely a good thing so uh, i have this spatula here which i use every single night i just take the back of it i take a little bit you don't need much i wish you could actually feel what i'm feeling but the feel of it it just melts on your lips like butter and it just immediately feels like there's this coat like on them and it's it's really nice actually so the ingredients are not complicated or anything it has honey almond coconut butter oh that's the buttery feeling and it is highly moisturizing yeah which makes it a good treatment for dry lips. Uh, I got this, I think, in January, and uh, you know, it was still pretty cold and wintry. And when I was using it, like, I woke up in the morning feeling pretty good about my lips. Like, I didn't wake up dry. Like, I really hate lip balms that they just fade away, especially when you're asleep, because I wanna wake up, you know, with lips that are not annoying the living hell out of me ever since I got this I've been like is that true and well it, my mind has not changed ever since this lip balm for some they might agree but I'm gonna tell you like the minimum to the maximum thing so this lip balm is the same if not better like for me personally it's better I still like this don't get me wrong I still like this but I prefer this a lot more. I've been using this for the last two years. I use this every single, or I used this every single day before I got this. And now I arrived so that much. I'm like starting to hit like rock bottom. This is four grams worth of product. And here there's 30 milliliters that's true but i remember i mean that research i actually did was like how much is this to this and they said that it was the same thing so i don't know so 30 milliliters if it's based on what i read back then means that it's 30 grams worth of product so you're getting way more than this like i will say that this is a lot easier to apply because it's like a lipstick while this you will need like something like a spatula or anything to apply it with you can't with your fingers like you don't get enough product for me and with this i get the right amount of product smell there's no smell to it there's the product smell there's no actual smell to it which is amazing because if you want to treat dry lips the last thing you want to do is to put something that is scented on them and that has fragrance now that it's been on my lips for a little bit uh, a while ago i was like trying out lipsticks so i was trying it out with this and a lot of lipsticks would like not really work with it especially if it's not soaked up into your lips well yet but right now i really feel like trying it out you know like why not i'm gonna start with this red red lipstick i'm gonna take it in this brush from uh, royal cosmetics r11 like that's like not really a shade in the packaging but let's go with that for now 
I haven't really tried this lipstick yet. Like this is a Chanel lipstick and I don't think I'll be making a review since it's a brand that I don't encourage anymore. Like I got it before I knew that they actually test on animals. I mean it's comfortable but it's definitely buttery on the lips. Like you can feel the lipstick just like sliding on the lips and not just sticking in its place. I don't mind it but I'm definitely sure it's not gonna last. I'm tempted to put like matte lipstick right now, like a real matte lipstick. By the way, when I apply like red on my lips, I, I just fall in love with myself and I just want to keep staring at myself. So I'm looking right now at like the four dimension mirror in front of me and I'm like, oh wow, why don't you wear that more often? Let me try it with a Kiko lipstick also. This is kind of matte. Hmm. I know the shape is not perfect, everything is not perfect. I'm taking it off in like a second. Ah, it's good. It, it goes well with lipstick. Right now my lips look so beautiful, so natural. It's nice, you know, like to have a little stain and at least you don't have to care if it's gone or if, you know, you look crazy or all these things. I love to wear red lipstick, but I hate the constant thought to to see if it's still on. I, I eat all the time. Like people that look at me are like, she doesn't eat. I eat five times a day. I, I was raised in Montreal and we were like forced, not forced because I enjoyed it, but like we had to eat five times a day. We had to have breakfast. We had uh, to have like a little collation de Ulula in between uh, breakfast and lunch. And then we have lunch and then we eat something else. And then we have our dinner. So I eat five times a day since I was like six, seven. That hasn't changed. I always eat. And a lot of people like look at me. I'm like, you don't eat. I'm like, I always eat. Whenever you see me, you bet you can catch me eating. While I'm editing, I'm eating. I I'm eating something. Cashews, pistachios, almonds, uh, any kind of nuts seeds, peanut butter, like I'm eating something, fruits, veggies, like carrots. That's why I don't like to wear red lipstick because I'm constantly thinking, how does it look like? Is it bleeding out and all these things? I'm like, I don't want that. I want to eat in peace. I don't want to eat and look at my food and be like, there's lipstick. Mm. Even though I think I've already did this test, we're gonna try it again just because, well, why not? I've cleaned the spatula and now that's all I do. You don't need more. Definitely don't double dip in here. You don't want any bacteria to live and especially if you're not using it alone, you don't really want to spread anything for anyone and I use it on all my clients. Like if it's skincare, if it's makeup, whatever it is, I'm like, let me use this on you. And she's like, oh my god, that feels like butter on the lips and I just realized that it is actually butter on the lips. So you guys know this lipstick from Essence, the Stay 8 Hour Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the number... That's a very wintry color. I don't remember how it acted with this, so we're gonna test it again. I haven't worn matte lipstick in so long. I'm not a huge fan of how it feels like on the lips, like the drying part, which is why I don't really like it on myself. I love how it looks like, but I don't like how it feels like. I can definitely tell you, this doesn't feel drying at all. And if you saw my review for this, the first time I tried it, I was like, I feel like there's water being pulled out of my lips. And like hydration is like being pulled out of my lips. This does not feel like that right now. And I haven't worn this lipstick in months. Like I think in like two, three months at least. This is comfortable and I didn't even scrub my lips. I like scrubbed them in the morning and that was it and now I applied this and we're done. And in the day I did feel my lips getting dry but I didn't use it because I wasn't at home. This stays beside my bed. I use this every single night. I don't go to bed without it. I'm not kidding. This is quite comfortable. Like I keep like closing my lips together to feel if I feel them dry or anything, but no, they feel quite comfortable, they're nice. I like it. I like it. I've never tried it on myself with like lipstick before and I really like how it feels like. Um, definitely don't put a lot if you're gonna wear a creamy lipstick and be careful because it might 
you know, become too buttery with another creamy lipstick and stuff like that. So definitely wear it with like mattes and powder lipsticks. It's definitely better than the creamy ones. I don't think there's anything else to say except support Lebanese local businesses or whatever you are, support your local businesses. Try them out. I mean, you might be surprised. I love this. I don't think I can ever go without it. And uh, it lasts so much. Like if this four grams lasted two years of using constantly, daily, how much do you think this will last? Seriously. Think about it, this will last so much. I've been using this ever since I got it, which I think January. After five months, that's how much there still is in the jar. I use this daily and when I have clients or when I have to do makeup on them, I use this before I start so that it really like soaks up the lips and just feels nice and smooth so that when the lipstick comes, you know, everything is ready. I, I love this. I don't think I can live without it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, tell me what you think. Uh, do you know Aliak? Uh, and if you don't know her, like, oh my god, you're missing out so much. I have three videos here, maybe even more, uh, of her shop reviewing multiple products from her. So if you want to watch it, make sure to watch it. And it's going to be linked in the description down below. This is honestly amazing. I love it. Do you have it? Tell me what you think of it. The feel on the lips. If you have this, you know what I mean when I'm telling you the feeling on the lips and how it just melts. It's just, it's another thing. Like, I cannot live without this. I, I'm using this right now, like, on the day, not at night. For me to use this at night and to, like, switch from this to this, that means a lot. Because you wake up with mm, luscious lips. Even when it was winter, you woke up with... Mm, just you know your lips moisturized not annoyed not dry or anything like that uh even that it did that but i just i just fell in love with that so let me just make one thing clear there's like three ingredients in there three in here there's about 10. you guys know me when it comes to skincare and all these things it's always so much better when the ingredient list is short small Keep it simple, keep it understandable. Like there's no when you look at an ingredient list and it says honey, almond, coconut butter. And there's no scent. Alia, bravo alaik. Alia is the owner, if you don't know her. If you're watching this video, I love you. Because the majority of her products, I'm just chapu ba ma fiyo. She out to you. Because I'm just a lot of beautiful and a lot of rain and a lot of people are busted for them. I mean, I feel like I'm just like I'm just like I'm just like I'm just like I'm like a good addiction because you're you're doing something good for your skin. You're doing something good for the environment. You're doing something good for the animals. This is cruelty free. Sadly, though, it has honey, so it's eh. okay. But uh, no, there's a uh, citrus. No, there's like a type of product situ, uh, that it mimics honey, like it's usually an alternative in uh, skincare and lip balms. Hopefully, one day she'll make like a whole vegan version. But for now, this is amazing, it has the least amount of kind of cruelty involved and it's not tested on animals which is amazing i mean bees line is also not tested on animals and both of these products only have uh, animal byproducts as honey not any other uh, animals because yeah usually you have a lot more of body parts from animals in your skincare and lipsticks so i'm really feeling this vibe right now you know the whole big lips matte Thing. Like, I just turn into another bitch when I see myself with that kind of lip situation. Like, I just, it's another, it's another vibe, you know what I mean? It's another mood, definitely. Don't forget to like and comment down below if you have this or if you're thinking of getting it. Uh, what is your favorite lip balm? Comment down below, maybe we'll get introduced to new ones. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.